Okay, my name is Erin McIntosh and I'm from um, Canada. My name is Ashley Patton and I'm from Manitoba as well and I've been here for a year. Uh, dealing with homesickness, I think I was the worst <laughs> out of the two. Um, when I first got here, I missed everyone back home a lot and it was really hard like even talking to people at home, but um, I obviously did and when I did feel homesick, I'd call home and you know, talk to my parents and it was okay. And I'd call my friends and they'd be like, Erin, you're not missing out on anything, you know, don't worry about it, just, you know, have a good year and we'll be here when you get back. And now it's, it's fine. You, you meet new people and you have your new friends here and it's, it's all right. Any thoughts? Um, I didn't get really homesick, I think, because I feel like, you know, I moved away from home to meet new people and experience something different, so I don't know. I know I'm going to live in Canada, like, eventually I'll live there forever one day, so I just want to enjoy being away from it. I mean, I miss it, and I miss my friends, but I'm just really happy to be here. You can try to prepare yourself as much as you want, like, read books, do all this research about coming to Asia and all that kind of thing. But you have no idea until you get here how completely different it is and how you'll react to everything over here. I don't think I was that scared because I think if I was coming by myself, I would have been really nervous. But I felt like I have my best friend here, so I don't know. It just didn't seem as daunting as if I would have gone by myself. Since we've <laughs> moved here, we've really embraced KTV. <laughs> yeah. Probably our favorite new hobby. When I go to KTV, I, I virtually stop drinking because <laughs> I prefer singing. She's in my car. <laughs> and it's okay. So I, I, I usually have drinks, but I have, my priority is singing because it's so fun. And everybody, everybody's just, you get like a big room and there's just so many people and everybody's singing and having a really good time. And I think everyone's much freer than at home because, you know, in Canada you're on a big stage and you have a whole audience to impress, but here it's just your best friend. <laughs> who cares if you're awful? Exactly. Which and you're not. But you think you're good until you watch the video the next day and you're awful. <laughs> Meeting new people, we've met tons of people, you know, or like going to night markets and like seeing what you can see because you never know what you're going to see when you're there. Um, you have to want to teach. You can't just kind of, you can't just walk in there and think that going to be something easy and it's just like a paycheck for me anyways because I mean I have a teaching background but you have to want to do it. And I think another thing is you have to be, I was a little bit of a pushover when I first came and just like tried to be kids buddies but then I don't know like you have to they have to respect you you have to respect them too and just not let them like you know walk all over you and so I had a little bit of trouble I think I wasn't maybe authoritative enough. So that was hard. But you learn it. So. I really enjoy working with Taiwanese people. Well, like my TAs are fantastic in my classes. Uh, like, they'll joke around with you and they'll, like, they're really, they're good with the kids, but they can be very, like, authoritative. Like, yeah, the kids listen to them. Like, I could yell at them for five minutes and they wouldn't care. But if, like, one of the Taiwanese TAs will say like one thing in Chinese and they're like, oh. it's, they're very helpful. <laughs> yeah, it helps us. Yeah, definitely deal with some of like the discipline problems, if there are any. But, um, but yeah, so the TAs are really good. But like Ashley said before, like with the managers, they're not always telling you like if there's a problem. They just kind of let things slide. Um, I have one TA like, or one manager like that, but like, at one of my schools, but the other one is just, she, she's pretty straight up with me, which is fantastic. I think that having Taiwanese friends is important to experience because um, they're locals, they lived here their whole lives, so they know um, all the cool stuff to do and can show you like a lot of things in the city and just about their culture that you would never learn if you didn't have a great family. Mm -hmm. And they can read, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> You know, I can't read anything, so like to walk down the street, I don't know what's going on, but you know, they can clue you in. You know? <laughs> There's so many things I've experienced here that would never ever happen to me at home. I mean, it's made me grow up and like be out on my own. You know, I've 
really like I have myself to rely on or like Ashley you know I have to figure things out for myself um, for me that's been a pretty big deal um, you know it, it's really easy to travel to other places when you're here and like travel around Taiwan there's so many amazing things you can see um, so I think it's it's been a really good year well I think that's one thing a lot of people come to Taiwan and maybe just spend their vacations going other places, but there's lots of like really amazing things to see in Taiwan. So I think while you're here, it's a good opportunity to travel around because I don't know, I may never come back here again. So um, yeah, we've seen lots of it and I'm happy for that. <laughs>